A first of its kind on South African television, a show tailor-made for you, the fan. Hello and a warm welcome to our studio audience and of course you, the viewer at home. Thank you so much for joining us on Fanbase as we chat everything MTN8. Please share your views on WhatsApp. The number is 065-878-8182. Also call us in studio or alternatively chat to us on social media. Now from the singers in the stands to the blowers of the Vuvuzelas, and even you, armchair analysts, we want to chat to you. As Lindy Wears mentioned, it's all things MTN8, but keep the conversation going. You can chat to us live on any platform on social media, be it Twitter, be it Facebook, be it Instagram. But all you need to do is remember the hashtag SSFanbase. And if you would like to be part of the action in studio, this is how you do it. We would like to say thank you to Fanbase for giving us the opportunity and the stage to voice uh, our excitement. So keep watching Fanbase on Sundays. Thank you. A show for the fans, by the fans, with the fans. Live on your world of champions. Surely that's a bluff. Well, the answer is no, it isn't. Fanbase is exactly that. A show where you, the fan, wherever you are in the land of the ABSA Premiership, can have your say and share your thoughts on how the 2018-19 campaign is going. Is your team performing? Is it not? Why and how can they improve? Uh, according to my side, because Micho, you can't keep on changing the scheme each and every game. You stick to the winning team, you change one or two things. You don't change the entire squad. Everything about Super Disky from the point of view of you, the fan. I, I, I just want to say good luck for Steve Rompela for everything. And I hate myself. We're happy to win Steve Rompela. We're happy to win. 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 We're and give us your expert opinion or simply send us a WhatsApp video no longer than 45 seconds on 065-878-8182. Better yet, why not be part of the chat in studio where you can have some live super disky fun with us. Your spot in studio is only an email away. Mail us on fanbase at supersport.com and you can be alongside some of the country's best ABSA Premiership fanatics right here in studio. It's fanbase. For the fans, with the fans, by the fans. Uh, we like to thank SS for bringing this fan base every Sunday at past five. We are really happy. We express our feelings. We are definitely sure. Lady Timita Renato Uto Horrelagai. Thank you, Savonga SS. Well, this, the season may be in its infancy, but there's been certainly a lot of talking points. Our burning question today who will be the last team standing in the 2018 edition of the MTN8. So, uh, hello and welcome to our latest installment of Fanbase. We have a jam-packed audience and with me, Lindy Wedube. Yep, we've just witnessed a sensational match between Supersport United as well as Amakos. Let's get into it. Ausmata, go real quite early this year, hey? First, Legile Pirates and now Litroali Chiefs. Your initial thoughts on the match? Super sport when it comes to the cup, oh, people they know how to win. But can no rage am up. But when it comes to the cup, how to win? So Chiefs today, they drew the level one, but they just can't can't score. Since when they drew the level one, they can't can't second leg. They drew the level two, level two. Then obviously, Super Sport only kept on City to finally like last time. Well, we've got a tweet from Bongani Chester saying, I wish Cape Town City win this one and let Chiefs go to the final and get their hearts broken yet again. If I'm Yo, Rusty Bobo, what do you think of that? Chiefs getting their hearts broken yet again. It's been three years without any silverware. Is Giovanni Solidas coming with an Italian job? Wow. Gayo, you would have done Three years since Nakapu. But I'm sure MTA, why you call it a real money to nature? Gerona, Rafainan, I jig. I jig, you're a final money to nature. 
course for life. Are you jiggy or a finale? The Cape Town City. When you send you a case of Chiefs fan, what are Fahangi's Lakola Makos? When's the chance put? Yabonga. For the past three, three years, ne, we haven't been doing well. And so my jersey has got bad memories. I still have those old jerseys that, uh, that I have when used to beat everyone. But now I've also, uh, if, if my team starts performing, I will buy the, the, the new jersey for Chiefs. And the next show when I come, when Chiefs start performing, I'll bring my jersey with me. Legato, when I equally advance through to the same is you must be disappointed as a Pirates fan. I'm not, actually, because I, I, I don't like both the teams. So <laughs> whoever wins, it's fine by me. So I'll not have, even if Chiefs are winner. You know the history between Pirates and Super Sport and then the Soweto, the Soweto teams, you know, they, they yeah. talk too much. Win, going to the finals and winning the cup is gonna, phew, we won't sleep. <laughs> See, Paul, your thoughts? Well, I'm happy that Chiefs um, got two away goals today, um, yeah. and it will actually help us going to the next round, and um, it will actually um, give confidence to the players because we've been uh, under immense pressure. Mm -hmm. So on the second leg, I think um, it will actually work out better for us. We just need one goal, then we through to the final. I'm going to go to Ausmatha. How important was Bradley Krobler returning back to form? Because, I mean, even Rusiki has been burdening the goal-scoring responsibilities during the early part of the season. How important is it for coach Kaitano Tembo to have these options? I think he make a good choice by putting Krobler today. Because if he, was, if he was not in and then he didn't go that two, sco that two goals, I don't know, I don't know, so I don't know, I don't know, I chiefs, so... Rala Bukhakaita, no, Kahokeja Krobla, just in number seven, Warun. And I believe we've got a caller on the line. Hello and welcome to Fanbase. That's a Ruben. Hello, yeah, yes, Ruben speaking. Hello, Ruben. What's your thoughts on this weekend's fixtures? Yes, I just say uh, Chiefs has got an advantage now because he's 2 2. That's a Ruben. Yes, we can. Yes, I, 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 what I'm saying, I said, Chiefs is, is, is having an advantage now. So, Uring, are you guys going to the final, La Wina? Uh, I think, I think if they can bring a while and keep it there, Chiefs will go to the final. Yeah, I put the good final, Bonnie said. Uh, so, if the final will go there, the Chiefs. In second leg, we must make sure that we fix our defense. Make mm. sure we, we're gonna learn how to, to pack the pass for the first time. You know, pack the pass and score one goal or don't score it all. And then what happens ends 2 2. We've got two away calls, then we're in the yeah. final. Please Let's move it right along to Masanda Wana right now. Pratuba, what do you think? One all away at Cape Town City, they seem to be your guys' voodoo team. Uh, to me, it's simple. To everybody, it's simple. The squad that played on that match, you know. They still regular players. Mm. So obviously, in the game, we can choose the yellow middle dollar for KF. Mm. So meaning, we take all these regular players and develop aside. That's why okay. We do the American thing. That choose the. So come Saturday, second leg. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> Le aise lelo na wat ni lela. Tavi si next. No ko. Maganda te Joseph. This is one title. Also, Kelly winner. Yes, this is the one that we need. Most day, Rebata come me, Pedule Mola. So, Erka Grafel, Taberle Shao. And then definitely gonna get that one. But what do you think of the starting lineup selected by Coach Pito Musimani? That's guy, likes of Sipilele Mkulise, the likes of Tony Silva, Jose Ali Mesa. What do you think of these new players being reintegrated into the Sundown system? Look, bit by bit, like they, they, they are getting there. They were bought, so meaning they must play. Ne? So, so they must get used to play in a sundown swing. So Pizzo Adi Rapos or Aba Kenya Mudima that eleven. So Uba Kenya the Mui Levening at the Wahoo Rabatu Dira Merego. So yes, they, 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 they did. So meaning Tundra Ba adapt the system ya yeah, sundown Siao Berek. Even if without those regular players. Mm. First time. So mini, mm. but not all. They, they will get used to it. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much, Dr. Joseph. Let's hear what your reactions are on WhatsApp. Shakes from Betty here. So we had the MTN8 Waffa Waffa. 
Sun was taking on Cape Town City in Cape Town and wow, the game in the first half wasn't really great to look out for but eventually Cape Town City came on in the second half and were attacking and I really felt like Peter Omsumane's plan kind of backfired as he failed at a weaker team. Maybe he was looking forward to calf but hey, it's just one goal, Sun Nons can't come back. I'm sorry, Masanda Wana. I wanted you to be in a final but unfortunately, you must do something in our calf. You must go and play in Africa. But unfortunately, the Cape Town guys, they are new. I want them to play Kaiser Chiefs in the final. We can't, we can't keep on playing you. Every time when we beat you, you will complain about the referee. We are tired of, the, of your coaches. When always he lose, he will blame the coach. He will blame the cameraman. So like, please, we want a new blood to beat Chiefs. Let us try Benny McCarthy. Maybe he can come with something. Sundowns is going to come back from a 1-0 defeat by Cape Town seat. Why I'm saying this, if you look at the players that have been playing for that match, they are unregular players. Pizzo tried to give them a chance. So on Tuesday, all the regular players, they will be playing on Kev. After Kev, they will be waiting for Cape Town City on Saturday. And then mind you, this is the cup that Mamnuri Sundowns and Pizzo Misimani need in his cabinet. So my f f final word is that Sundowns is going to come back and then they're going to win the game and they're going to progress to the final. And this is the cup that is going to be needed in, in recent downs. Well, certainly a lot of reaction and a lot of interesting thoughts and opinions coming from the fans of uh, Kaiser Chiefs, Mamelodi Sundowns, Super Sports United, as well as Cape Town City. So just to reconfirm the results, it's uh, Super Sports United and Kaiser Chiefs sharing the spoils in a four goal thriller, while Cape Town City with a 1-0 win over Mamelodi Sundowns. Well, we've got a few tweets here. At Ikama Utebuho says, Chiefs is winning this game. They're getting better with games in addition of Manyama Him and Biliat and Castro will keep will kill many teams mark my words do send us your uh, messages on twitter using that hashtag ssfedbest the action continues after this <laughs> The 2018-2019 ABSA Premiership season is only in its infancy, but with the transfer window fast closing, there's said to be plenty of ins and outs within the top flight over the next couple of days. The biggest of the lot at this stage has come from Chipper United, where Dan Malisela has been shown the exit door following a slow start to the new season. Chipper remained winless after three matches, which has seen the Chili Boys call upon the services of Eric Tinkler in trying to find better fortunes, and here's a kicker. Tinkler's first game in charge looks set to be against his former side in Super Sport United. Some new faces are calling Naturena home as Kaza Chiefs made headlines during the week for a double soup of talent. Lebohang Manyama is now a Corsi, having been a free agent since leaving Turkish side Konyaspor last month. The former footballer of the season has flirted with Chiefs before, and now that he has joined, he will want to hit the ground running as soon as he is match fit. Former Super Sports United, Sundowns and Ajax Cape Town defender Mario Boyson will be looking to do the same after what he terms a lifelong dream of joining Chiefs. He has penned a two-year deal at Amakosi and will add on to the stiff competition at centre-back. Another man with a new adventure is former Sundowns winger Yannick Zakri. The Arvorian has signed a two-year deal at Maritzburg United after spending much of last season on loan at Ajax Cape Town. Meanwhile, at Orlando Pirates, a number of clubs are said to be keenly tailing the situation surrounding Abu Bakr Mubara, who has seen very little game time this season and could be subject to a number of late bids before the window closes. Should he stay? Should he go? Do let us know. Welcome back to Fan Base. Such an eventful week in terms of the APSA Premiership. We've got Umtabi in the audience who is a Chipper United fan. Nina Coach and Jamtabi, your thoughts? 
And Yabulela Sislindi, uh, we accepted the decision taken by management to release them, and then we welcome everything as we normally do every coach. Look, uh, on, my, on my view, I believe that Tingler, the job is, is, is obvious for him. The only thing he needs to do is to give the freedom to the players. How? By letting them to shoot. Because it was the one of the, it was the one of the, I can say, like I said that on my point of view, it was the one of the legal mistake got then. Mm. He doesn't like the player who take the shot. Yeah. Of which sometimes, to take the shot, it can be a bounce yeah. or it can be a penalty. Secondly, I've never seen the players are cheaper do the crosses. Mm. I believe that it was the infraction on the kosher as well. Of which, the, uh, again, the crosses are very important. You can get the penalty, you can get the own goal, mm. or the striker. Uh, for example, mm. Dan Clayt. Mm. Clayt is good on the crosses. Mm. Clayt is good on the shot. Mm. And then so we, have, uh, we have the quality on, on, yeah. on, on cheaper. Yeah, like I can say, uh, my view, not the supporters. The other supporters, they are not happy. I'm yeah. also not happy because they lose the job, which is painful. But we, are, we just accept the decision, the decision taken by management. Welcome Tingle, of which we trust him, we will do the job. Now, Eric Tinkler is no stranger to the Absa Premiership. He's coached at Orlando Pirates. He's coached at Supersport United. But the philosophy brought about by Dan Malicella, do you think Tinkler will be able to replicate the style of football that Dan Malicella played? Uh, no, look, like I said, for Tinkler, it's very easy now. Mm. The boys, they know how to touch the ball. They know yeah. how to share the ball. Yeah. But they only need one word yeah. to be free on the game, meaning yeah. that you can talk the shot mm. if you can yeah. see that it is necessary to take it. Mm. If you notice, uh, I can quote for you on the first game for Chipa, there mm. by Plumfandel Celtic. Those boys, they were, they, were, they, were, they, were, they were on one place okay. because of those short passes. Yeah. They were afraid to, to mm. play the wide balls, side balls, and then they were even afraid to take the shorties. Mm. As a result, if you notice it, there is yeah. a guy uh, called Komani, he yeah. just signed it from Royal Eagles. Mm. That boy just take one shot. Mm. If yeah. you saw then at the branch, he jump, jump and shout him, and then he end up took him out. Yeah. Of which for me, it was wrong. So, yeah, it's painful, he lose the job, uh, but there's nothing we can say, we just accept what is my management doing and then we have to support Tingler to, 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 to deliver in the club and then oh, we will do that. We will start, we will start on Wednesday. So, in the thank you Mtabi. Well also in the news this week was Lebohang Manyama signing to Kaiser Chiefs. He hasn't played a competitive game since the 27th of December. Let's hear what your views are on that. Look, as a, as a supporters of Chile Boys, we, we, we accept the decision. Uh, there's nothing we can do. Uh, we just say thanks to Dan. He did show us the beautiful football. And then now we're going to support uh, Tinkler as well, as we normally do on all the coaches. We normally support them. Yeah, so we just have to move on. We also believe even uh, to, to Tinkler that we'll get the results. And I hope number ten I think Baza wins a more competition than I will that I have Bazana from Escape Town. Hi, this is Mulelo from Rodeport. I'm a Kaiser Chiefs fan. Um, look, it's a step, it's a step in the right direction. I mean, getting Manyama and uh, Billiard because we've always had problems in terms of scoring goals, you know, frustrating the oppositions and in, in, like the. Um, the defenders but I, f I feel like now we've sorted that out but i feel like we still need more reinforcement in with our um, defense now there's been so much of mtn8 action we almost forgot about the midweek apps premiership game between mamalodi sundowns and highland spark but i may whether you called it last week you guys were going to beat them but it was a no no result yes 
Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, uh, I think Sundowns in Ipusaru no Itoja Highlands Park because remember last time when we played in PSL, Barigile 5 1, so in the draw 2 2, Rago NFD. So this time, no Abana chance because I think we are still at the right track. So we threw a little pirates for the first game, go along the stadium, so Rajala Lehaile, Black Leopard. So we came up Black Leopard. Even today, it is painful because we could look at the last 60 minutes and then go home game, home ground here in the stadium. So I think game here sundowns, Leon are drawing against sundown. So it's not bad. Three points, three games. We are still on the right track. And then I think the coach here, not only Nagama, we sign a good players because if Kwa Islands Park receives us, so we don't sign big names players, yes. but we sign mm. quality players. Quality, yes. yes, so I think we are still on the right track. Highlands Park, Seva Kava Seva again. So, yeah, Kava Seva again. Now, our cameras were at the game between Mamelodi Sundowns and Highlands Park. And let's see what the fans at the venue had to say. The game was not fair, man. I think they didn't play up to expectations. I think our midfield, we didn't play the way we're supposed to play. I think the game was not. What I've seen today, Eskarabo, loyal support of Mamelozi Santos, I'm definitely not happy about the ref. The referee was too biased against Sundowns. I don't know who sent him to ref this game, but anyway, we'll bounce back. Basically, the referee it was not on our side. There was a lot of mistakes whereby the referee gave away the yellow cards, whereby it was not necessary. So we're not happy about the game. Yes, we got one point. It's something. Well, thank you so much for sending us your reactions. This is what you can look forward to on your World of Champions. Well, it's back to the bread and butter of the Absa Premiership. Black Leopard up against Edgar Makepula. Kaiser Chiefs taking on Bloemfontein Celtic. Steve Compella there up against his former team. But Patrick, a quick prediction from you. Black Leopard up against Pirates. Well, that would be a difficult game. Uh, Pirates going to Toy and o with the start we've had. I'm a Pirates fan. It's going to be really difficult. Then uh, Kaiser Chiefs, uh, Bloom Celtic, that's a must watch. I see a draw in this one, but I, I think Steve will want to prove a point. Yeah. Now the league may still be in its infancy, but the predictions are bold and the predictions are coming in pretty fierce and pretty frenetic. Let's take a look at what the fans have to say at this early stage of the season. Do you think it's going to win the league this year? Super sport, I think. Well, I think Pirates will win the league this season. They recuperated last season. And this season, they didn't make too much signings. Yeah, so I think Pirates will win the league this season. Sundowns won't take it again because it's very hard to to win the league again after you've taken it. Even with the team, it's a solo kuza, it's a tata league, and going to Sundown. Yeah, and the Kaiser Chiefs is a winning league, and over is in a bad lalabash and a coach of Mosha, a Gandhi footy, and Makima, and Wabuhile. I got his own winning belly. I get it, I Team of joy, team of joy. Married to United. Obviously, the Super Sports United, there's a city, some of my pipe, footy, the eye is a spoon, and young and bad. No, this ocean, the footy, Gualum law, Moguti, cause, no man. Isaiah, we are in the Absa Premiership. I'm joined by Utubi, who's a Sundown supporter. Utsin, this is the in this season. Telkom, Unwini League, or Unwini Telkom, MTN8. We go to win uh, Absa yeah. and Kev, yes. MTN as well. We're going to bounce back. Mm. You know, in the second league, we're going to win it. We're going to beat, uh, uh, what do you call it, Cape Town City. Yeah. They won't beat us on our own home ground. We're going to beat them. Ifan, who do you have with you? I've got Brafani with me. Brafani, one of the happy people, if I may say so. Not the start to the season you guys were hoping for, especially after the end of last season. 
it's, it's been, been four years, years since you guys actually won a title. Is this year going to be the year where you're in the draft? Yes, uh, since we are out uh, on uh, the MTN8, uh, now we're looking, looking forward to win um, uh, PSL, Telcom, uh, and uh, NetBank. <laughs> yes. <laughs> see that, see that. I'm going for travel. For travel. For the travel. Yes, yes, I'm going for the travel. Like those glorious yeah. under NJNJ yes. and uh, Root Crawl. Yes. So is Mitchell yeah. the guy to do it? Yes. yes. Ah, a very bold prediction there by <laughs> Prof Fani, and very assertive, if I may say so. So uh, it's. Thank you so much to everyone for watching today's episode of Fanbase. Thank you to our awesome audience from myself, Lindy Wedube, Ifan Adam, and the incredible team behind the scenes. It's goodbye for now. Oh,